Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. Well, tonight's video is a little bit of a different video. This is a collaboration video and a gifted video from a company called Zabora.com. Zabora.com. So they approached us uh, a couple of weeks ago and asked us if we'd like to do a review on this, which is the, let me read it out to you. It is the Netgear, the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 pack. And it is a, it's a pack with three, three i'll just show you it's the because you can get you can get them with different sizes but this has got three of the um hub thingies i know that's not very technical but i'll get technical in a minute once i've read the instructions so i don't know i don't know what this is going to do to improve our wi-fi um i'm really looking forward to trying uh because we have been struggling a little bit with our upload speeds um and sometimes with our download speeds I, our, our internet can be quite intermittent here in Lost and after at best you know um we're kind of guaranteed about 45 meg of uh download speed here sometimes it goes up sometimes it goes down and it is a little bit intermittent like i said so it'll be interesting to see how this performs because this is supposed to this is supposed to sort sort all your problems out you know all your problems with wi-fi so just to remind you then this has been gifted it's not something we've gone out and bought uh the cost of one of these packs we Googled earlier just to see the difference in price range. It ranges from £700, I know a lot, right, to £1,000, right? So we are expecting a lot for that kind of money. Um, but yeah, this is like I said, this has been gifted to us. Okay then, so I just want to talk to you about um, our home life, um, how many people we've got in the house, how many devices we've got in the house, okay? So there's 14 people living in this house. It's a four-bedroom house. It's quite a big four-bedroom house, so we're quite well spread out um we've got about seven no we've got seven iphones between us all there are about seven ipads mm -hmm. at any one time on the go um what else have we got in the lounge we've got sky yeah. glass um and obviously the tv's connected because it's sky glass um and then in the kitchen we've got a sky glass puck so we've got sky glass running into the kitchen um we've also got a Alexa ball. Don't go on Alexa. So we've got an Alexa. Number. She went on. <laughs> Alexa <device>. off. <laughs> there you go. We've got mm. an Alexa. Alexa know. off. <laughs> so we've got an Alexa. Um, and I think that's it. That's it. Oh, no, no. We've got the dining room as well. So in the dining room, we've got the TV and we've got a fire stick in there because we've only got the two pucks with the sky glass. Otherwise, it would cost too much money. So yeah we've got a, we've got a tv in the dining room with the fire stick okay then so upstairs now so in our bedroom in in the master bedroom we've got another puck that's the second puck we've got with our sky glass uh i don't think there's anything else in there that connects to the wi-fi bathroom no and then in the other bedrooms the tvs connect to the wi-fi through a fire stick uh that's one two three bedrooms where they've got fire sticks uh, Noah's got a PlayStation 5 and then I believe Hi. 4, PlayStation 4, sorry. And then um, the two. girls have got other devices like the Switches, Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. They've got two Nintendo Switches upstairs. Uh, and then if anybody's got their own laptop on the go as well for schoolwork, you know, that gets connected to the Wi-Fi as well. So we've got a lot of usage. There's a lot of usage going on in this house. Right, so what Wi-Fi provider we've got? We have EE, EE Full Fibre. Um, it's got the standard hub, which actually isn't too bad. It's not a bad hub at all. Um, yeah, I mean, we do get some breaking up with the sky glass now and again. It's the upload speed that's the problem. So we get roughly between 40 to 60 meg download speed. It's the upload speed that really bothers us because obviously we do YouTube. Um, it's actually taking me probably four to four and a half hours now to upload a video, which is really annoying um, because I, when I was down in Oxford and, and uploading videos, it used to take 10 minutes. So that kind of gives you an idea of how how bad the upload speed is. Why, I don't know. I mean, yes, we live in Lost and Muff. Yes, we live in the north of Scotland, um, but I would have imagined it to be a bit better than that. I don't know. But anyway, that's that's the speeds we're getting. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, um, well, now it's got my laptop. So what we're going to do, we're going to, we're using the Witch uh broadband test which is free online so go onto their website um we'll use that because there are plenty of, of apps out there but I, I quite like to use that as a standard test 
So I want to get baseline check done of all of different areas of the house so that when we set this Orbi up, um, we can do a comparison, which I think is quite a good idea. So are we going to do the uh, kitchen first then while yeah. we're in here? We'll do the kitchen first. Right, stand by, hang on. Right, go for it, Noah. Oh. So this so this is a test for the kitchen. And um, remember, this is EE. With the EE. Have a download speeds are... It's gone lower this Ooh, time. Oh, that's quite low, isn't it? Oh, it's lower this time. Yeah. Does that mean that? 23. Like, see, that's so we should be getting a minimum of 40 meg from EE. That's a minimum. Oh. So that just goes to show you we have we do have issues in Lost Mouth at the moment. Yes. Yeah, and so well, it's no wonder my videos are taking four hours to upload. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to go through to the lounge now and test the lounge. This is where the remember this is where the home hub is, uh, the EE home hub. All right, you ready? Yeah. Yep. Hang on. Ooh. Okay, go for it. This one should be better because it's right. We're next right to next to the hub now, so this, this better be better. Oh, that's one, one better. What's better now? It's better. Ooh. 33.2. That is on upload, upload speed. speed. If that is... I can't believe how low that is. 33.2. 2.53, 2.8. And it's about 4 meg again, four isn't it? Upload again, speed. Yeah. That's not very good. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed at that actually. We're supposed to be getting 44 meg, minimum. So I'd expect to be a little bit more than 44 meg to be honest. Um, I know we're having problems in Lossy, but that's quite disappointing. Right, where are we going next? Dining room? Dining yeah. room. We'll check the dining room. Right, let's have a look then. This is the dining room now, so let's give it a shot. So the first one on that was 3.8 and then it was 2.3. Oh, yeah, what have we got in here? I know this is a bit of a... A black spot in here. 30, 31. About the same as in the lounge. 32.9. That's about the same as in the lounge. Yeah. If it's over. Well, the lounge should be a lot better than it is. That's ridiculous. I know. Four. Okay, again. so it's about four again. Okay, yeah. that's about the same. Okay, so we're upstairs now. So this is the master bedroom. Um, we're going to run a test in here and then I'm going to take us over to a real black spot in the house, which is like the, the other side of the house from the Wi-Fi hub. And then we're going to test in there. So we'll do here first. Go. What do you reckon this is going to be? This is above the hub. So so we're right above the hub now. Might be a bit better. I okay. If this is over than 4.1, that means this room is better. You should upload in here a bit better. It's no wonder we're having problems. Nope. <laughs> it's no wonder it's taken me four hours to upload a YouTube video. This should be about four. Yeah. Well, it's better. Well, the upload speed's a bit it's, better in here. It's way even better. You should upload in here then. Yeah. Okay, so this is the um, the bedroom furthest away from the hub. So we're going to do a run of testing in it. So it should be worse in here than anywhere else in the house. So we'll give it a shot. Go. I wonder what this is going to be. 28. 28. And Whoa. What? It's better in this room. Okay, so that's, that's actually quite low, isn't it? 14.6. What's the upload speed going to be? What do you reckon? 1.2? 1 1.3? Probably. 4.1. 2.4, 3 3.2, 3 2.5. All right, so the upload speed is about... Oh, no, it's dropping down again now. 2.4. Okay, so there you go. There's the baseline check done. Um, that kind of gives you an idea of what our Wi-Fi performance is now before we even start unboxing the um, Orbi, Orbi set. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I should maybe even phone you and complain about that, but... Anyway, you never know, this may just transform our lives. Hi. Hi. Well, I'll lift it up and you pull it out. Okay. Let's get started. So we've got this stuff. Okay. And we've also got that. 
That opens up as a handle. Wait. And then you pull it up. No, you don't. Okay, no, so you pull just it out. Oh. That's it. That's cool. Whoa, Whoa. sick. I'm not right, get, get one out and just show it to the camera. Wait, Wait, Wait can all three of us get one out and show them? Whoa, that's Whoa. massive. It's a satellite. That's nuts. That's Wait, nice. there's a satellite for it. It is, isn't it? So we scan it? Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Right, so that's the box opened up. Um, they're quite big. Yeah, we've got three of them. <laughs> Definitely some weight to them as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, because normally the little hubs you get to boost your Wi-Fi are about a quarter of that, a quarter of the size of that. Yeah, it's about so they're quite big, and there's three of them in this pack as well. No, yeah, so there's three of them in this pack to in total. Look, here we go. So, um, are there any wires? Um, I don't think so. I, I think, think you just connect it. Are you sure? I think there's wires down the, down the side. Look, um, just see if there's wires down the side. Look a bit. Okay, so what was in that extra box in is that's got to be wires yeah. and bits and bobs. Yeah, that? I see. Ah, uh, there we go. So that's all the leads for it. It's like a pack uh, for everyone. Oh, yeah, I see. It's a pack Lots for everyone. Lots of packs, power packs and all that There's kind of stuff. There's packs for three of them. Okay, that's cool. Wait, so, so basically, we've got three of these that's, satellites. That's quite smart. They give you a European uh, one and a British one. Yeah, that's quite smart. What have they got? It's a European one, but with an adapter. Oh, that's cool. No, I think that no, I think the either adapter can slot on the front of the plug. Oh, so is that maybe how it works? I think so. Adapters. We'll have a look at the instructions in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we just spent five minutes reading the instructions. Uh, this is the only instructions that came with the pack. Can you see that? And what it's asking you to do is to download the Orbi Netgear app. It says, in fact, I'll turn the camera around. Hang on. So it says, download the Orbi app and install your Orbi Wi-Fi system. On your mobile phone, download the Orbi app and follow the setup instructions. So what I'm gonna do now, because it also gives you like um, a quick guide on connecting up. I'm, I'm gonna connect the Orbi router. They're all labeled. So there's an Orbi router and there's two satellites, okay? So I'm gonna take the Orbi router so can you see there the Orbi router and the other two are called satellites. I'm going to take that. I'm going to plug it in uh, where our EE home hub is and I'm going to connect it to the Ethernet, which is connected to our Wi-Fi. So I'm going to do that first. OK, Toby, have you got the British connector? Mm -hmm. Just show everybody the other connector as well before you put that on. All right. And make sure. No, it's got to go around the other way, isn't it? I think. Yeah, it's got to go around the other way. I think it slides in. Yeah. Does it go around the other way or is it going that way? Can I just have a quick look? It goes in that way. Are you sure? Yeah, because look, there's these two bits and then these two bits. Oh, well done. Good lad. Good stuff. Well done. Ah. Good stuff. So is that connected up now? Let's have a look. Connected. And there's also a European connector as well that you can yeah. put on, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, it's a European connector. That's a European it's connector. It's one with the two dots on it. Okay, so that's um, the the the, that's the Orbi router that's cool. plugged in and plugged into the uh, Ethernet. So I'm going to do the other two satellites now. Okay, so that's one of the satellites now set up. One of the satellites is now set up in the dining room downstairs. So that's, that will hopefully cover the kitchen as well. So we've got the third one set up in the uh, in one of the bedrooms, but the little ones are sleeping at the moment. It's actually quite a nice spot in the house, so I've, I've plugged it in there. Um, I won't disturb them, but that's the third um, satellite set up in there. Okay, that's both satellites set up and the hub set up now, so uh, the router. So I'm now going to try and set it up on the phone. We've got the app open. Uh, let's get started. So scan the QR code on the Orbeez sleeve base. Where's, oh, where's it gone? Will you just hold that for me, Toby? Yeah, hold that up. So let's scan that. Uh, where's it gone? There we go. So that's scanned. Continue. Locate your modem. So it says connect your Orbi, which we've done. Position the satellites, which we've done. Uh, Protect your network. 
wait while the Orbi satellite fully powers on. This might take a few minutes. Okay, so what's it saying now? It's saying, what's this tuning up? It's still going on. Staying secure. Okay, so it's now it's now joining the network. Um, all be detected. Uh, all was I say all be network detected. Okay, what's connected? Checking internet connection. Let's have a look. Right, guys. I thought that might happen. So um, what we need now is to get the permissions from EE to connect to the new router i thought that might happen because we tried it before when we switched when we bought a replacement router for our plus net um so it's easy enough done um it's basically going through the admin on the on the e router and then getting all the ip address and everything that we need so it's saying at the moment we need a static ip uh so if i just click on that now it wants so uh, can you see that so it wants to to connect manually it wants IP address, subnet mask, internet gateway, um, primary DNS. But I'm pretty sure I can get all of that from the EE hub. So what I'll do is I'm going to stop the video there. Um, I may come back tomorrow night and carry on. I've just pl I've, I've plugged all the EE stuff back in for now. Um, and once I've got all this information, we'll carry on. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's been a couple of days. Uh, I kind of worked out what the problem was. Once I went back through the instructions on the app, it tells you to connect this, the router, to the modem. That's why I was getting confused, because I thought it meant connecting it straight to the wall. Um, you know, where, where your cable comes in and all that kind of stuff, but it wasn't. And I spoke to um, a tech friend of mine who's, who's really into his uh, technology, and he said, no, what you need to do is connect it to your broadband um, your broadband router, so the one that you get provided from your provider. Um, so that's what I've done. I've done that now. So this is now connected to the EE broadband router. So you can see it behind there. So that's still set up. Um, so I'm going to go from here. Okay, here we go again then. I've got the Orbi up open again. So let's go to continue. Let's see what this does. Uh, oh, okay, data privacy, new or be set up. Uh, it's just, yeah, let's just enable notifications, maybe later. So let's enable camera scan. So what I'm going to do, if you see that, uh, there we go. Okay, so or be be or B64, locate your modem, unplug your modem, uh, okay, plug in your modem, okay, connect your Orbi, which I've done, I've done that, uh, next is position the satellite, so I've done that, I did that the other day, and they're still in the same position and still turned on, so that's no bother. Uh, here we go. So let's see what it's doing then. Hopefully this will work a little bit better than it did last time. Okay, so good news. So that's so that's basically uh, all be network detected. Uh, two of two yep so there we go that's that's it telling me now that we're looking good so it's detected two of two found uh let's personalize your network settings uh all right create an admin password all right i'm going to do that right now okay so i've put all of my I've, I've changed all of my security passwords and network settings and all that kind of stuff that i needed to do that's just following the prompts from the app. Uh, now it's checking for firmware. May take about five minutes, so I'll come back as soon as this is done. Okay, so it did need to um, update the firmware, so it's just rebooting now. Okay, so that's update successful. So let's go next. Uh, okay, 
What's it doing now? So it's connecting my phone now to the Orb B64. Okay, so it says it's all confirmed, configured. Uh, it's all up and running. Okay, so I'm just going to confirm that my phone is now connected to um, the Orbi. Yes, it is. There Okay, So my phone is connected to the Orbi. Happy days. So what I'm going to do now is go back on the Orbi app. Here we go. Oh, excuse me. And I want to run a speed test. Now I'm not sure if the I'm not sure if the if the Orb six will increase the speed of our internet because we're having we're experiencing a few problems at the moment in Lossy Mouth in that they're doing a lot of work to to the network and it drops out now and again. But I think what the Orb will definitely do is increase the range because according to the box when you read the instructions the range is up to 360 meters away from from your house so i may well test that out and just go for a walk down the road and see if i can still connect to my wi-fi in a bit but let's run a speed test first right uh, i don't know how how this is going to improve i don't know if it's going to actually improve the speed yeah Okay, there we go. So um, download speed is 30 meg, which is a little bit better. Upload speed is definitely better. Um, it's well, it's almost double, doesn't it, the upload speed? But I'm still I'm still going to um, get hold of EE and complain about the speeds because the, we are experiencing problems in loss of mouth and it does need to get sorted. But what I'll do is I, I know that the black spots are bad. I'm just going to see the connectivity because obviously at the moment there's three full bars now of Wi-Fi here and normally in the black spots we'll probably get one bar two bars if, if you're lucky so i'm just going to go and check that now right so i'm back in the dining room and this is definitely a black spot so i'm going to run a speed test now uh and then we'll see how the connectivity is how many bars we've got as well because i think the big the vast improvement for us will be the connectivity to the wi-fi the wi-fi can get sorted out through e you know uh, the speed and that but um it's the con connectivity because if you come to the dining room it struggles if you uh go up to the girls room which is the one that i showed you previously it really struggles in there they can't really they can't really stream anything so um i'm going to run the test now and, and we'll have a look in the dining room so there you go look so uh 34 meg download 6.4 upload which is which is definitely better than it was before and the most important thing is the connectivity. Look, I've got three bars of Wi-Fi. So that is full connectivity to our Wi-Fi. Okay, so I'm up in my girls' room, the older girls' room, and this is a total black spot. Now, they cannot stream on connected to the Wi-Fi in, in this room at all. Um, but I've just got my daughter to connect, and she's now got three full bars of signal, um, and she's streaming. So absolutely no problem at all. Um, so I'm now going to run a test in here and I'll show you the results on that as well. I have pretty much standard. So that so the Wi-Fi it's producing is now, I'm now able to, to reach the very, very corner room upstairs, which where we've had lots and lots of problems. So we've got absolutely no issues at all now. So that's great. And there you go. Three bars of full reception, full reception, full Wi-Fi strength. So that's really, really good. So that's never happened in this room. The girls have never been able to um, stream anything because they've only ever got one, maybe two bars at a push. So that's excellent. Okay, so I'm out in the garden now. Um, I am, what am I, that far away from the house? And the main router is on the other side of the house. So this is the back of the house. It's on the other side of the house. Um, and I've still got bars of signal. So I'm gonna run a, I'm gonna run a test here and then we'll have a look. Okay, there we go. So that's the result we've got in the garden. Um, yep, 34 meg download, six meg upload. Uh, and at the moment we're sitting about two bars of strength. So it did flicker between three, two and three. And again, just to remind you, I am that far away from the house. So what about, I suppose I'm about 20 meters away from the, um, from the router.
Okay, time to wrap up the video then. What do I think of the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6? What do I think? What do I think? What do I think? I did get a little bit confused at the start um, because I am a I am a bloke and I don't read instructions properly. Um, I thought it would increase the speed of your Wi-Fi, but it doesn't. It doesn't increase the speed of your Wi-Fi. So if you've got, say down in London, you've got 900 meg, brilliant. But what it does do, um, what it does do is it extends the range of your Wi-Fi. So if you've got black spots in your house, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I, do, I don't have any black spots in the house at all. Um, the girls, are, like I said, the girls are right in the far corner. So right in the far corner from here, the girls are streaming right now um, through the Orbi. So they're connected to the Orbi, which is then obviously connected to our Wi-Fi. So that's the thing that I, that's the thing that I got confused on as well. Uh, was so only the two things. So the second thing was connect to your router. Connect to your router. Don't connect straight to the wall. Um, it doesn't work. So connect to your router. So yeah, top tip: um, if you are going to buy the Orbi Wi-Fi six, um, connect it to your router. All right, and then the setup is so simple. It's ridiculous. It's so simple. Uh, basically, follow the app, and it walks you through it. So all the struggle I was having before a couple of days ago because I connected to the wrong thing, forget it. It's literally connect to your router, follow the app, it's all set up, and then just connect to the Orbi rather than your Wi-Fi router. Does that make sense? And it's that simple. So I've just been going around, and as you know, like on iPhone and that, you can connect and share your, share your password. So I've just been doing that with the kids. And um, they're, they're well happy because they're now, like I said, streaming which they haven't been able to do for ages. So that's a massive thumbs up, massive. So would I personally buy it? Uh, well, now that I know what it can do, yes, for, for that result. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Would I actually purchase it for the money cost? Um, I doubt it, to be honest. Um, and that's just me personally. 700 on Amazon, up to a thousand pounds on the website. You know, it's it's very expensive. Um, it does do the job, but it's very expensive. The only thing I was a little bit confused on was the fact that had I walked a little bit further away from the house, so I was expecting to be able to connect, you know, down the road and up at the shop, you know, which is about, what, 150, 200 yards away. However, it connects, what, 20 meters is, is, your, is, your, is, a, is a push, I think. 20 meters, um, you're looking, it's still connecting. It's still got a couple of bars. It's still there. Any further than that, it, it drops off. Um, so what it does do, though, is it covers your summer usage in the garden, you know, listening to your music and all that kind of stuff. It's going to cover that because normally we have to use 4G or 5G. Um, so that is a thumbs up as well, as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a lot of money um but it does what it says it's it, it extends the range of your wi-fi so you, there's more connectivity and you're able to stream better so for that i do give it a massive thumbs up so there you go guys that's the review video done for this product uh we may do some more products in the future i don't know it depends what's what's offered to us um and what what kind of interest is and all that kind of stuff so if it's worth it we'll do it um so if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to our channel guys uh please hit the bell for notifications and drop us a like um yeah and we'll see you in the next review video thanks guys for watching